Hey guys, Julia here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up payments on Shopify. This is how you're going to receive money from your customers into your bank accounts. I'm going to show you a couple different options depending on your location and the stage of your business. So by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to set up payments and start selling. Before we start, if you still haven't signed up for Shopify, I'll leave the best current deal for getting started linked in the description. Right now it's at $1 for your first three months. All right, now let's get started. From your Shopify dashboard, go to settings and click on payments. Here you can manage your payment settings. On the payments page, we see Shopify payments here at the top. This is Shopify's official built-in payments gateway. It lets you accept credit cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and all the usual payments methods. Now, one thing to note is that Shopify payments is only available in certain countries. So if you're outside places like the US, Canada, the UK, Australia, or a few others, you'll need to go with a third-party provider instead. And if you're not sure whether it's available in your country, you can have a look on this page. I'm gonna leave it linked down below. Now below Shopify payments, we have third-party payments gateways, or you might also be seeing additional payments methods. We'll circle back to this in a minute. And below this, we have manual payments methods, which is for managing payments made outside of your online store. If you're selling in person as well, you can use Shopify's POS hardware for card payments and all of your inventory and all of your sales will be synced with your online store settings. So I'll leave more info on that below for those of you who are also selling in person. Then here we have payment method customizations. This is where you can control how payment methods appear to your customers at checkouts. There's no need to do anything here as Shopify already has the best converting checkouts by default. And down here we have gift card expiration settings. So if you're offering gift cards, you can manage that here. And the last item on this page is Apple Wallet Passes, which gives your customers the option to purchase a digital gift card that can be used on Apple Wallet Pass. All right, now let's go back up to third-party payments gateways, where again, you might be seeing additional payments methods. This is where you can integrate third-party payments options outside of Shopify's built-in system. So if Shopify payments isn't available in your country, or you just want a third-party provider that provides more options and flexibility, this is where you can connect to those alternatives. Now, no matter what setup you are using, it's important to give your customers plenty of payments options. You wanna make sure that you're offering credit card payments like Visa and MasterCards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, etc. The idea is that the more options you can offer, the fewer roadblocks there will be at checkouts, so definitely keep this in mind. You don't wanna lose a sale just because someone can't pay with their preferred method. So we wanna keep things smooth, flexible, and easy. So if you're looking for the best solution and a smarter way to handle business payments, especially if you're dealing with international customers, I recommend using AirWallex. This is going to be an excellent global payment solution, and I'm going to leave it linked down below. Now, just a quick heads up, AirWallex is only for registered businesses. So if you're not registered just yet, no worries. I'll share a tip later in this video that will help you with that. And if you already have a registered business or you're getting close, this is going to be an excellent option for payments. They give you multi-currency support, which means you can accept payments in different currencies without being forced to convert everything right away. That means you're going to have less foreign exchange fees and more of your money stays in your pockets. You can hold, spend, and receive money in over 10 major currencies like USD, Euro, Pounds, and more, and you can settle them like for like. Meaning, if someone pays you in Euros, you can keep it in Euros without having to convert it right away. This is super helpful if you're working with international customers and you want to avoid unnecessary exchange fees. Now, another cool feature is that AirWallex gives you access to over 160 local payments methods. So you can offer Apple Pay, Google Pay, and even region-specific ones like GrabPay or WeChat Pay. You can also add these to your Shopify store through the AirWallex integration, which is also super easy. The integration is super beginner-friendly and there's no coding required. You can connect it directly here in your Shopify store, set up your preferences, and you're good to go. Once everything is set up, AirWallex will automatically match payments with orders from your store, so the whole process will be automated and smooth. They also have very high layers of data security, so your data and your customer's data are going to be fully protected. And one of the best parts about using this is that you get faster settlement times, which means you don't have to wait forever to actually get your money. So the conclusion is, for running an online store, especially with international traffic, this is going to be a super solid all-in-one solution. So if you want to use this, once again, I'm going to leave it linked below. Now, before you can even use AirWallex, you are going to need to have a registered business. So if you're just getting started or you want to form a US business, even if you're outside the US, you can use a platform called Klemta. I'm going to leave it linked below as well. Klemta makes it super easy to set up your own US LLC all online, and that's important for a few different reasons. 
Having your LLC means your business is its own legal entity, so it separates your personal and business finances, which is a big deal for protecting yourself legally and keeping things clean for taxes. It also gives your business a more professional, trusted presence. And it also makes it better to get paid through platforms like Shopify and use tools like Airwallex. And if you're a non-US resident, having a US LLC can also give you some really big tax advantages depending on where you live. We're not going to go too deep into that here, but just know that it can really help simplify your business taxes and open up a lot more financial tools for your store. So this platform handles the whole process for you. They set up the LLC, get your EIN, registered agents, and all of that legal stuff. So you don't have to worry about all the paperwork. And once your LLC is ready, you can immediately connect it to Airwallex and start receiving payments like a real business. So once again, I'm going to leave Klemta linked down below. Once everything is ready, you can just go here on Shopify, go to third-party payment gateways, search for Airwallex, and create your account. And that's it. You now know how to set up payments on Shopify. Quick reminder, I'm going to leave Airwallex and Klemta linked below, along with the discount codes that you can use to save 10%. And if you still haven't signed up for Shopify, I'm also going to leave the best current deal for getting started linked in the description. Right now it's at $1 for your first three months. I also have an entire online course that I have created to help you optimize your Shopify store for sales. So if you haven't gotten any sales yet, or you're looking to increase how many sales you're getting, the course is going to be super, super helpful. I'm also going to leave a link down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to to hit that like button, it'll be super, super appreciated. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop them down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.